Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted video. So, as we all know, Scott and Steerwool have been working very, very hard on Help Wanted to make it the best they can. And today, I'm here to show you a few new jump scares that are going to be in the game and the FNAF 2 Mangle minigame where you're repairing the ventilation, Mangle's coming after you. We haven't really seen much footage of that. So I thought I'd just put it here with all the other jump scares. But first, let's take a look at the jump scares and then we'll take a detailed analysis of the minigame. And then we have something that just came up a few minutes ago as of recording this that we'll, we'll talk about a little bit after all that. But first, the jump scares. So the first jump scare we have is actually Springtrap's jump scare from FNAF. Three. All of these jump scare videos I'm about to show you right now, there's three of them total. All three came from Coda over on Twitter. There's a link to his Twitter in the description below. Definitely go check him out. He's provided lots of information about Help Wanted both on Twitter and on Reddit. So go show the guy some love. He is an amazing fellow. And he also gave us the these three jump scares. Not going to reveal the other two just yet because right now we're focusing on Springtrap. And as you can see, it's very different from what he had in FNAF 3, and even a little bit from Custom Night, where he just straight up approaches you. It's not like in FNAF 3 where he hides behind your monitor, or like hides behind the doorway and waits for you to close the monitor or look over to him or look away. He just straight up approaches you, scares you, and then your game cuts to static, and then supposedly you either have to restart the level immediately, or you go back to the main menu. We don't really know how that works just yet, but it's really interesting to see his jump scare because we actually have seen him in a secret image all the way back during the first ever Help Wanted teaser. So it's just, it's really fascinating to see his jump scare. The next jump scare we have is Ennard, which is super, super cool to see because we didn't actually know he was going to be in the game until just now. Ennard has officially been confirmed as we can see him in the game. So it's really cool to see that a new character, you know, that there's still new characters that we don't know about that are going to be in the game, such as Ennard. And I'm really intrigued to see if there's going to be any Pizzeria Simulator characters, because again, we have not seen any of them. Or maybe if Scott and Steelwell are going to be super, super cheeky and add even, add even, and add in even a FNAF World character like what he did with Custom Knight adding Dee Dee, which did originate from FNAF World, if you didn't know that. So, end of the jump scare, not only do we now know he's in the game, but we also have his jump scare, and his jump scare looks pretty cool. He actually blinks during his jump scare, if you can <laughs> see that. It's only like one or two frames, but it's cool to see him blink. I don't think we've really ever seen the characters blink, which is, which, now that I think about it, is really, really creepy. And the final jump scare we have is actually one of the plush babies from the FNAF 4 minigame. It's really weird how they play into the game because we don't know how they play into the game. But apparently they're not just an addition just to be there. They're not decoration. They actually are an enemy in the game where they can kill you. And as you can see here, their jump scare is pretty intense just wiggling in front of you. And now me wiggling is going to appear all over my group chat now. Awesome. Can't wait to see that. <laughs> but it is pretty, you know, it's cool to see that they have a jump scare and they're not just small details that Scott and Steel will just threw into the game. It's like, here's a new character. It's going to sell lots of plushies. They're actually a character. So it's really cool that they have a jump scare. By the way, they totally are going to make plushies out of that, right? Next up, we have gameplay from the Mangle minigame, and this was uploaded by Mr. Video Freak. Again, it's linked down below if you want to check it out yourself. Basically, what I'm going to do is just anal analyze it, analyze it, analyze it as we're watching it. It is a three-minute clip, so it may take a while, but trust me, it's probably going to be worth it because this is a brand-new minigame. We haven't really seen much about so as you can see here it's titled vent repair mangle press something something i think that says pull buttons or push buttons and then something 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 i have no clue what these say it's a bit too far away and the resolution isn't really that good so yeah fix the vents is the objective i have not seen this video so i don't know what to expect but we're just going to watch. So I think they're just reading the controls. 
And free coupons. Guys, get your free coupons. Whoa. All right. So immediately a new setting. We have never seen this. Looks like we just have vents on three sides of us and then an actual vent cover behind us. We have pipes above us and, oh gosh, like a sewer pipe below us? Okay. So what, what are we supposed to do here? Do we open up? Because they're, oh, okay, blinking lights. Maybe that's like, like how stable it is. And then if the lights go red or they start flashing, we have to fix it. I don't know. But there are buttons to the side of the vents. Those are probably going to open and close them. But I don't know. Looks like we got a control box or something. Oh, we're trying to grab it. We cannot grab it. <laughs> Oh, flashing lights. Did we do something wrong? I can't see a thing. There's a button there. Push it. And that did something. Oh, it's Mangle. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all right, let's go back. So it looks like the lights went out. Let's go back to this. The lights started flashing. And then it went dark, and then we had to press a button to get rid of mangle I'm trying to pause at the frame we see mangle there it is ah so we flip a switch and then we can actually turn on the light but mangle is already really really close to us and this is just emitted into the game and then they crawl back okay whoa looks like a shredder and then there's a fan back there do we have to reach into the shredder? I'm guessing. Oh, we flip another switch. Does Mangle come out of the shredder? Or does Mangle only come from that one vent? Oh, okay, so the pipe... Okay, so the pipe started spewing out some gas, and it looks like we turned the valve to fix it. If you watch, like, up here. Wait for it, wait, right here. Spewing gas, and then it looks like we turned the valve. And the gas stopped. All right. Ooh, turn it again, more gas comes out. And it looks like that shredder is still going. So we have multiple pipes as well. Because there was another right here. And you can see he's turning it as well. So there's multiple pipes we have to keep track of. Alright. What else? What else? Okay, big button on top of the lights. Hit it, turns green. And that opens, I guess. You gotta keep in mind, either they've played this minigame already, or they have some instructor telling them what to do, like we've seen when you're repairing Bonnie. So, they're probably getting told what to do. Okay, that opens another vent. What else? So, it looks like we've got some buttons leading to a hatch of some sort. Okay. Alright, so we did see Mangle sneaking up on us while we're walking. You just turn around, flip on the switch, it looks like, maybe? Or is that light already on? Mango just goes away. Not sure. So there's a big button down there, and it turns different colors depending on what button you press. It looks like a game of Simon Says. You know what? That's actually probably what it is. And while you're doing this, you also have to constantly check the other vents to make sure Mango doesn't get to you. Alright, I'm digging this minigame. This seems awesome. Kind of a mix of the original games as well as fending off. Or repairing as well as fending off. So we did see Mangle a third time. Right there. And then we just go on and just close the vents. Because maybe we're done. I think we're done. Did we check out all three vents? Apparently we did. Alright, so what happens at the end of the game? You just go back to the main menu screen. Alright. Oh look, it's the cupcake. So... That's it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't, I did not expect this. So we actually get a group... Plush Baby jump scare. Because we saw just a jump scare with one of them early on. But now there's a big group of them. 
So it looks like... Alright. Okay. I remember reading somewhere on Reddit. Someone actually said, when you close out of the game, you get jump scared. They said they got jump scared by Toy Bonnie, and we haven't seen him. But there was no footage to back that up, so I don't know if I really believe it or not. So maybe Toy Bonnie's in the game. So I think what they did is they actually closed out of the actual game, and then they just got jump scared by the plush babies. Let's see that one more time. So it is just three of them, three of the plush babies just shaking violently in your face, which is going to be very, very terrifying in VR. And then just to end on a high note, Daco literally just tweeted out when I started recording saying, Hey guys, I have some good frickin' footage of FNAF VR coming tonight. The best quality you have seen so far. I, of course, will be watching that, and if I see anything new, I'll make sure to make a video about it as soon as possible. And again, if it comes out really, really late, I'll just wait until the next day, because to be honest, you guys don't want to see me tired recording a video. So make sure you look forward to that, and I know you guys are going to be checking out Darko. But just in case you don't know who he is, I'll link down his YouTube channel down below. But if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you know who he is. He's basically like, you know, the Prince of FNAF. He's incredible. So definitely go check out that video. Once it is online, I'll hopefully be able to come back to this video and change the link from his channel to specifically that video. But if I don't, you can just find it, find it on his channel that is already linked below. So get hyped for that, get hyped for Help Wanted coming May 21st, mark your calendars, thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.